Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Right, I've got one of my favorite dishes. This is the fried fish, which is the koi mas, a very traditional Bangladeshi uh, recipe. Today I'm gonna be showing you the fish, the perfect fried fish, some chicken with some green beans and some chana dal. Look at this, vegetarian heaven. So, and as well as some sticky rice, check this out. So if you enjoy what I do, make sure to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and watch till the end for this amazing recipe and I'm ready to eat. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ki zat ma sancho? Bolo koi mas. Koi mas te dekhi san to. Eh, mashallah. Got this lovely, this is Bangladeshi koi mas. The local fisherman, he comes and visits me. I'm gonna cook some lovely fish curries with this and fried fish, beautiful. Live fish in Bangladesh. So this is the fish. We've cleaned it, gutted it, taken out um, all that intestine and scored it so all that spice goes in. Here's all the spice box and a bit of salt. So now firstly we're going to add some turmeric. It's about one teaspoon of turmeric going in. This is chili powder, about a good one teaspoon of chili powder. Those amazing colours, beautiful. And now just a bit of coriander powder. And now salt. About one good teaspoon. And a drizzle of oil, just to marinate everything. Wonderful. This is general cooking uh, oil. You can use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, whichever you wish. So we're gonna let this fish marinate in its spices and then we're gonna cook also a chicken curry and some lentils. So now we're gonna go into the chicken curry and let this fish marinate. Beautiful. So we've got some chicken. This is just less than one kg of chicken. We're gonna cook a chicken curry as well today. So this is some sticky rice. There you go. We're just gonna wash this and leave it in soaking water and we're gonna steam cook this accompanied with the fish. Now we're gonna cook the chicken. So bismillah. So we're gonna add some oil, four to six tablespoons of just cooking oil going in. You can use ghee if you wish. To the hot oil, we're gonna add some garam masala, some bay leaf, some cardamom, and some cinnamon. One tablespoon of garlic going in. One and a half tablespoon, that is. Plenty of garlic, lots of flavor. Beautiful. Once the garlic is nice and golden, we're gonna add some onions. And this is the onions in a paste. So the onions have been blended down. So that's about one and a half cups of onion. We're gonna add, just added a bit of ginger. So that was one tablespoon of ginger gone in. So the garlic, the ginger, the garam masala and the oil. Right, to this paste, we're gonna add some salt, salt to taste. So there's just about one kg of chicken. So we're using uh, about two teaspoons of salt. Now the spices are going in. So chili powder, So that's a good two teaspoon of chili powder. It's gonna be nice and spicy. If you like it really hot, add about three teaspoons, like Madras strength. And now some coriander. So that was about two teaspoon of coriander going in. Just one teaspoon of turmeric powder. And this is the Bangladeshi spice, which is the punch paran. In England, you can get it in a whole spice form, but you just need to grind it up. 
and this is cumin so just less than one teaspoon of cumin powder and this is a British Indian restaurant style of cooking so there's uh, one teaspoon of general curry powder going in and this is one of my favorite spice in Bangladesh which is called the mangsho spice loads of different things in that it just builds an enormous flavor in the dish it's absolutely gorgeous when the taste is like a sort of it's got like the garam masala it's got all these blend of spices it just enhances the flavor of the curry I mean the waft coming now is unbelievable beautiful so let that spice hit the oil, waken up, and then we're going to add some water. So now a drizzle of water so the spice don't burn. There you go. Wow, the waft. Beautiful. So let that cook, and we'll come back to it shortly. Now the spice has been booned up together, now we're adding the chicken. So just less than one kg of chicken. Now we're gonna add some green beans to this. Something a bit different, but very flavorful. Once the chicken has been booned up, and uh, now we're gonna add some green beans. This is Bangladeshi green beans, and we just cut it into little one and a half, two inch uh, cubes, sort of. So they're going in. You can use any sort of green beans for this. Runner beans, which are Once the beans and the chicken has been Mix together, put a lid on, let the steam generate and just soften up the green beans and the chicken is going to release some natural liquids. Wonderful. Now we're going to start cooking the next dish. So now we're going to cook some chana dal. So this has been lentils that has been soaked overnight and show you this amazing side dish. Just add some cooking oil. So this is about four to six tablespoons. Once the oil is heated, we're going to add loads of garlic. That's about two tablespoons of garlic gone in there. Once the garlic is nice and golden, add some onions. Now for some seasoning, add some salt. One and a half teaspoon of salt gone in there. Now to the chicken, we're just going to add some water. There you go, just enough to create a nice little sauce and for all the green beans and everything to cook thoroughly. And we're cooking this on a medium low gas. Put the lid on, come back to it shortly. Now the onions have caramelized wonderfully and now we're gonna add some spices. First to start off with chili powder. One, two good teaspoons of chili powder, that's plenty. If you want it spicy, add a bit more. However, this is generally enough. There's some turmeric powder going in, one good teaspoon, and coriander powder, which is just about one and a half teaspoon. Well, just say two teaspoons now, sorry. So that's two teaspoons of ground coriander powder gone in. Give it a nice little mix so the spices just wakens it up. And then just add a drizzle of water so the spices don't become bitter. Beautiful, there you go. Very simple dish, but wonderful in flavor. So let that boon it together wonderfully before we add the lentils. Right, while the spice is boonering up, let's check on the chicken. Wow. That sauce has thickened up. The green beans nearly ready. A little bit more, five minutes more, and then that curry is gonna be Ready. Beautiful. Now the spices has been pruned up together, sieved out all the water, now we're adding the chickpea. Just mix it all together, let all that spices get cooked properly and then we're going to add some water. Beautiful. Chicken's ready, oil has risen to the top and now we're going to add some fresh coriander. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. So here you go. This is the chicken curry ready. So we're going to turn the gas off and I can't wait to eat. So once the lentils boon it up together, this process takes about a good five minutes or so. Now we're going to add some water. So plenty of water going to create a nice thick sauce. 
I'm going to put some tomatoes in for a little thickness. So this one tomato got in there. So simple, but very flavorful. So some green chilies going in. And we're going to put the lid on and let this cook and thicken up. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the lentils. It's thickening up wonderfully. Now we're going to put it onto a slow gas and let it cook while we fry the fish. Now for the fish, look at that lovely marinated fish. We're just going to fry it on some oil. So some cooking oil going in. Wonderful. This is just over half a cup of oil. Sorry, this was four to six tablespoons of oil gone in there. So when the oil is nice and hot, we're going to add the fish. Bismillah. So we'll let the fish cook in a medium gas, medium low gas. And keep an eye on it and we're going to turn it in a few minutes. So while the fish is cooking, the lentil is ready. Look at that, wonderful. The chana dal cooked to perfection. Now to finish off, some coriander. And turn the gas off. And we can't wait to eat this. Beautiful. One of the fish, the skin's just come off. So all we're going to do is just cook this for a good six to eight minutes, turn the sides around and it should be ready. Can't wait to eat this. Beautiful. Right, the fish is cooking away and now we're going to steam cook the gluttonous rice, which is the bit on rice. There you go. So water, steam cook this. So make sure you soak this overnight, or at least, no sorry, make sure you soak this for about half an hour and then put it onto this uh, steam cook. Fish is nearly ready, can't wait to taste. So this is the sticky rice with a fried fish and a green chili. Look at that. Wonderful. Fish, a bit of salad, cucumber, tomato, and some carrot. So this is the sticky rice, very traditional Bangladeshi fish. And I'm going to break into this. This is milky, tasty fish. Look at that. So give this with some, these are the just fried onions. Give it all a mix. And Bismillah. Yep, this is the taste of Bangladesh. Green chili. Wow, this is one of my favorite fish. It's got bone in the middle, as you can see over here. So you're gonna to have to be very careful. And I just love this. This is my favorite fish with the sticky rice. Wow. So I'm gonna try the chicken and I'm gonna try the lentil. But I want you to have the fish first. If you enjoy what I do, make sure to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon for the next video.